Oh, a matchup we can play. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No! How fair the game is. We're gonna go D-Blade because we're feeling extremely aggressive. We have Flash Ignite. I'm back, hopefully bringing you another video. I don't know, we'll see how this match goes. I felt like playing Viego, but I really didn't want to touch this role. So we're going to be playing him top. This is my first game in a while. I haven't actually played in about a week. So maybe I'm going to get my butt kicked here. Time will tell. She's probably going to try to instantly start pushing the wave. I'm going to see if I can match that. I'm just waiting here to see if she's trying to cheese me. Nope, she's walking with the waves, okay. Of course, we're gonna be trying to play fundamentally correct. Now, I want you gamers to pay attention to the fact that she started Q, not E, which is pretty defensive of her to do right now. Ah, I fucked up. So it begins. It's not okay that I died there, but I did die when the wave was on her side. Oh. I'm going to kill myself. I don't want to do anything crazy. I just want a nice, even paced game. Okay, we went pretty even on that trade. I want to avoid her next Q, I'm gonna heal. Ow, good thing she doesn't have Ignite. Two seconds later. Oh. So in this instance, I am very far behind. I do not want to be building defensively, so I'm not going to bother with building my boots first. I need to go all in on damage. It's my only chance to come back. If I build defensively, she's able to kill me anyway, and so that's just going to keep happening. But if I build offensively, I increase the chance that she throws or dies in the process, and I can come back. Let's check her items. She is way ahead of me, so I don't want to fight her. I don't want to go for trades. I just want to farm passively. As long as I keep my distance, XP, we're still in the early game, early laning phase, XP is infinitely more valuable than gold. She's not gonna let me farm, she knows she's stronger. I'm gonna miss the cannon. Oh, that sucks. I just want to stay back, farm what I can, and not give her any more gold than I already have. I should be throwing more Qs out, I'm a manaless champion. I should have flashed. If I had flashed, I lived there. This is what I get for not playing for a week. I play like trash. Nice. Thank you for the shutdown, Galio. Oh, I'm a greedy pig. I am a greedy pig and I I got outplayed by Karma mid. Okay, I'm just trimming the wave down to a more manageable size and I'm gonna try to hold it here. This will give me some breathing room to farm, but I do need to uh, take more risky plays. So the other thing when you're behind, aside from not wanting to build defensively, is you also need to go for those risky plays. At the moment, I have lost. Like, building defensively is not going to help me. Building passively, I'm just going to lose the game. I need to go for risky plays that might work because I don't have a lead that I could throw in the first place. So if I die, it's just more of the same. I'm also going to take these camps. She has kind of put herself in a bit of a tricky situation. She ended the laning phase really fast. And you might think, oh, that's good. She's so much better than you. And I mean, while she is better than me, you don't want to prematurely end the laning phase. Because now what does she do? Oh, she takes top jungle and then shares with mid. There's nothing for her to do. Her, none of her teammates are going to rotate. So she's she, she just has to AFK farm now. But it's more dangerous for her because there's uh, the entire lane now that she'd have to run down. And she doesn't have flash either. 
See what I mean, chat? She went mid, nothing happened. Come back top, catch the wave and farm. That's all she can do. I have my first item. Slowly coming back. My team is managing because Gwen doesn't have any map impact. She only has an impact in top lane right now. She can't influence the map any other way. If mid was gone, then her and mid could rotate and, you know, she could rotate for the objectives. But it doesn't look like Karma wants to do that, so she's just kind of stuck up topside. She's going for drag. This gives me the opportunity to give tower. My team is... wiping them. I missed a cannon because I'm a pig. She went all the way to drag, didn't even participate in taking it. She TP'd back top, used her ult, used ignite, got nothing for it. I have wasted her time successfully. Am I still behind? Yes. Am I catching up though? Also yes. And Gwen is not getting any further ahead. Now I know she has no sums. Fuck. Almost had her though. But these are the risky plays that I'm talking about. Do you see how close I got? How close she nearly failed? If I hadn't misplayed, she'd be dead right now. Round two. Okay, she was AFK. <laughs> she was AFK, but I still lose. That time's the chum. Ah, oh, she was greedy! She was ahead of me! All she had to do was not misplay! Ooh, that's his ult, that's huge! Okay. Oh. Yeah, that was probably the obvious thing I could do. I should have gone around. Because why not have double enchanters shielding for, like, as much as they do? That's not annoying at all! Fairly certain we've lost this, but... I want to I wanna take Azap's mentality approach. I want to see if we can maybe still come back. One good play is all it takes. I'd like... I would like to move, please. Look at this disgusting champion. Okay, well I know who I'm banning next game. I'm banning that trash. Fuck having karma in my games. I don't want to hard shove just yet. I want to do a... Uh, I want to wait for the next wave to come so that I can do a third wave crash. Okay, well it looks like I still need practice with crashing the wave. Do you really think you could trade with me and just not get... Oh shit. Uh, he still gets me, but I get his flash. He doesn't have ult casts, so I'm just gonna go in. I think I still get you. And I get to collect the wave. I get to farm for free? For free? I wanna see if I can get a plate. I'm gonna hard shove. Aw. Still, I might be able to proxy. Or I can waste his time, he's gonna miss out on minions. Okay, so 
What he gets there is a kill. What he loses is a whole wave and a little bit more. Oh, that's my bad. I should have pinged he was missing. Still, Renekton, Renekton being bot side. Does he have TP? He probably does. If he doesn't, I get a plate. Actually, I get a whole lot more than that. This lets me catch up. Nah, he has TP. That's not Renekton. Oh, really? Ah, uh, he was holding on to it. What I want to do right now, if he's going to be here, is I want to shove this wave, and then I want to quickly go grab a snack in River, because we took a really bad trade. Oh, good spawn. Oh, two snacks, even better. And now it's like I never fought him. So if he stays, he's super low health, but I am basically full HP again. He's got an item and a half. Okay, so now he's massively ahead of me because he just went mid and got a shit ton of kills. Not from the Katarina necessarily, just like in general. He also has two levels on me. Nah, I, I don't think I beat him. He's just, he's way too strong. Oh yeah. Because he's got a uh, Bramble Vest, the thing attacks me, he gets Tower Aggro. He can never come near Tower, because if I order him, he takes damage. If he keeps doing that, I can uh, potentially whittle him down. Renekton's mid, so I'm safe to keep pushing. Maybe I can get a tier 2. That would definitely bring me back into the game. Alright, yeah, I want him back. He's cancelling my back. Ah, uh, the flash! Oh, if I was just a second quicker on my ult. So now I want to go bot and play for this tier 2. There's no point in me going mid, especially without uh, both my sums, because it's just so easy to kill me and run me down. Especially with a team like theirs, where they got a lot of slows and CC. The pit's warded. Oh man, I tried and I came close, but never mind, it was a one for one. These plays are really risky, but I'm only going for the risky plays because I'm so far behind. It's the same reason I'm not really building defensively, I'm going all in on my uh, attack. I need to go for risky plays because the enemy team is ahead, so the goal for them is to just not throw away their bounties and win the game the way they've been doing this entire time. Okay. Nocturne will be mid. Well, I, I guess, well done. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. All right, so let's look at me. I am 3-8, 200 CS. I am 800 gold behind Renekton. I should have one item and a half maybe, and that's it. But because they keep giving me their shutdowns, I am a little bit behind, but kind of on the even side with them. So he doesn't have Zonyas. Without Zonyas, he doesn't win. Nocturne's going top side, so it's just him and me in this lane. Oh, right. Okay, chat, here's a lesson, and I, I still need to get good at this, but every single time the enemy backs, you should be checking their items to see what they had. Because apparently, Cassidy disappeared from the map, presumably to recall, and he came back with a Zonya's Hourglass. Now, remember how I said I could beat him if he didn't have that? He had it, I didn't check, and now we lose. Don't make the same mistakes as me. Check their items every time they recall to know if you can fight them or not. Thank you guys for watching. I know this probably wasn't the most entertaining and I mean, hell, I don't even know if I'm going to even make this into a video. 
But if I do, I hope you enjoyed it. I get my ass kicked. It's mostly my fault because, I mean, I haven't played for a week and then I jump straight into ranked games. No warm-ups or anything. That's something you really shouldn't do, but I'm an idiot. I'm here to make these mistakes for you so that you guys don't do the same shit. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you uh, whenever I next see you. Bye.